I am currently riding an elephant in South Africa. Check this out. It is a long ways down. If I asked you to name an African animal, you'd probably answer elephant right away. This mammal, the largest land mammal alive, is one of the more well-known African animals, and rightly so. Its large size, long trunk, floppy ears, and baggy skin certainly make it a memorable sight to anyone who has seen one. Though elephants are usually associated with Africa, only one species lives there, the African elephant. The other species is the Asian elephant, and you can probably figure out where that one lives. It's easy to tell the difference between these two species with just a glance. The most obvious is size. You see, Asian elephants are noticeably smaller than their African kin. Asian elephants also have ears that are straight on the bottom, while African elephants have the fan-shaped ears that we usually associate with elephants. Asian elephants have four back toes, African elephants only have three. African elephants also have two fingers on the end of their trunks that they can use to pick up things. Asian elephants only have one, so they, they wrap their trunk around objects to pick them up. The elephant's most famous feature is, of course, its trunk. I've seen their trunk at work, and it's amazing. I've felt the suction against my, my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of power, yeah? yeah? I've actually had them come kiss me on the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Their trunks can be up to seven feet long and weigh in at 400 pounds. The trunks contain no bones, just a lot of muscle. A lot. Uh, we're talking about 40,000 individual muscles. An elephant can lift up to four and a half percent on average of its own weight using its trunk. And when you weigh in at four to six tons, that's a lot of weight. In addition to picking up things, elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, and as a snorkel that they can rise above them when they're in the water. Elephants have an extremely good sense of smell. They can detect water from several miles away. That's a pretty helpful feature during the dry season when water holes are few and far between. That's a nice one. That's fun. That was so fun. Uh, their, their skin is rough, but they have those coarse hairs on them. And I'm, I've never actually touched an elephant in person. You know, those are giant creatures. When you're next to them, they look a whole lot bigger than in the pictures. But the way when he flaps his ear, you know, sometimes elephants will flap their ears like that to cool off. They use their giant ears, especially the African elephants, to radiate heat from the sun. And it's pretty warm today. I mean, I'm in short sleeves. It's winter time down here in South Africa, but even still, uh, it's, a, it's a warm day. And uh, you saw our flapper ears like that. Pretty exciting.
I am currently riding an elephant in South Africa. Check this out. It is a long ways down. So I just got off of an elephant. Uh, it was an African elephant ride, which is, uh, wow, amazing. And they're really, really large. Of course, my first time on an elephant, but the way they sway. We had we had saddles on them, or what you might call saddles on them. Uh, but it feels so high. Like, I was literally spotting uh, Impala and wildebeest and uh, kudu all out in the distance because I was so high. I've ridden in game vehicles before and I thought that was high, but this is, is something else. It's pretty fun. We're here at Wildside at the Legends Resort. We are about to load up on four-wheel drives and uh, go off on photo safari. There's uh, an elephant sighting not too far up the road, so uh, it'll be good. Check this out. We just are looking at some elephants here in South Africa and they are truly a sight to behold. Majestic creatures. One of them swung around just a second ago. He walked right back here and I was noticing his tail. You see he's got a small, rather small tail and there's a passage in the Bible that says that this giant creature behemoth moves his tail like a cedar tree. This beast is described as a chief among what God has made with bones of iron and a, a massive belly. So people say, well, maybe Behemoth was an elephant, but it doesn't appear to be an elephant because he's got like a little fly swatter tail. However, there are giant long-necked dinosaurs that fit the description of Behemoth in the Bible. And we now know that it's far more likely that God was referring to the largest land animal ever created, the sauropod dinosaur, as Behemoth. I'm telling you what though, as the largest living land animal today, the elephant does remind us of God's power and his ability to create. He designed everything, including the mighty elephant. I'm David Reeves in South Africa. Truly, the heavens declare the glory of God. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification to be sure you're notified about new videos just like this. And hey, remember, we're a nonprofit ministry, so all of your donations help us make content just like this.